Hey y'all, it's your girl Renan Nicole back with another video. Today I'm doing a review and demo on Honey's handmade hair products. Usually I don't wear twist outs, but this one came out too right and I had to show y'all. So keep watching if you want to see all the details. So my hair has already been shampooed, so we're going to jump right into conditioner. I purchased a four set that they have. They have like four minis you can try out, which I love because I've never tried their products before. So this gave me a chance to try a few things without having to commit to like a big jar or something. So I'm going to start off by sectioning my hair in four sections. So the treatment that we're trying today is their Hawaiian Alea Red Salt. I hope I pronounced that correctly. It is their balancing deep conditioner. It helps to balance and hydrate. It's a anti-dandruff scalp treatment and it absorbs excess oil and moisture to prevent um, fungal growth. So that's pretty awesome. Um, it doesn't really have a smell. It's not like a chemical. It smells like it's some things in here that's going to help your hair and it's going to work. But it doesn't have like a bad smell or anything. So I'm applying that um, on the first section. And I'm just going to go through and um, just apply it and really get in there. Break those four sections down into smaller sections and really make sure I finger comb this conditioner through well and work it through really nice so you'd be surprised these little jars actually actually do contain enough conditioner for me my hair is very thick although I do not have my sides my whole perimeter because I keep it cut so I don't know how it will work out for someone who has a complete whole head of natural curls but um, it's definitely enough for me in this little tiny jar, which is awesome. Another thing I really like about their products is that they have um, they have a few ingredients. You know, how sometimes you look at the ingredients because you're trying to figure out what's in it, if it's good for your hair, if it's not, and their ingredient list is so long. You are not about to sit there and look up all those ingredients. Also, most of those ingredients you cannot pronounce. You don't know what they are. So you'll really have to go and like look up every single one. And um, these don't hold, they don't have entire, like a whole long list of um, ingredients, which is a good thing. So you see I'm getting all up in that jar. I'm getting every little bit I can get out of there, honey. We're not wasting a product around here. And I just apply that around my edges, around my hairline, everything like that. Just make sure it's on my hair. Then I put on my processing cap and I sit under the dryer for a good 10-15 minutes. And then I rinse it out. Okay, so for styling, we are going to use their Peach, Ginger, and Quinoa Protein Strengthening Hair Lotion. That's a lot to say. It is part of their Core Reconstructing Collection. There are 11 ingredients in this Peach, Ginger, and Quinoa Protein Hair Lotion, which is amazing. It makes it easier for you to actually Google and know exactly what's in your hair products. And then I'm going to seal that with the Honey Walnut Shea Sealing Syrup. I like this oil. It's a little thicker than some of the other oils I've used and I like a thicker oil. And there are five ingredients in the Honey Walnut Shea Sealing Syrup. Again, making it easier for you to go to Google and know exactly what um, ingredients are in your products. So starting off with that hair lotion, I just apply a good amount to that section and I work it through.
Now I go in with the Walnut Shea Sealing Syrup to seal in the hair lotion. I work that in on top of that and then I just twist that section and then I move on and I keep repeating until my whole head is twisted. What I, what I like and don't like about the hair lotion is that you have to make sure you shake it up because you know with shipping and everything is just sitting and so it separates a bit and so at first you're like Ugh, why does it do that we're not used to you know our products doing that but when you have I'm assuming that when you have such um natural products um, to make up your hair product it is going to separate and so you do have to shake it up so keeping that in mind that it doesn't have a whole lot of the bad stuff that we don't want in our hair I mean it's perfectly fine to just shake it up and um, mix it up so that you know it all goes it mixes up well but at first it did like put me off a little bit I, ain't, I, I didn't like that at first know why I was so disappointed <laughs> take care of problems um, but you know these butterfly clips they they don't fail me though so usually if I have somewhere to go I will sit under the dryer so that my twist can dry faster if I don't have anywhere to go for the next few days I let them air dry and I keep them in for about a good three to four days and then I untwist them And I'm done. It is just beautiful, nice, a defined twist out. The hair is flexible, it's not stiff, really lightweight, doesn't feel greasy or anything. I really, I'm sold on these products. You wait till I get a little more money so I can uh, put some more, some more orders in. I uh, hope you get a chance to try out these products. Hopefully you'll like them like I like them. Um, but thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.